Okay, I'm now recording. So why why is the ego telling me right now? It's a lovely question. Why is the ego telling me I'm, I'm not okay now? Why do I need to like eat a donut? Or why do I need to get a girlfriend? Or why do I need to be more successful? Why are there so many things to do? And I think that's a great, great question. Why is, na- why is now not enough? Why, sh- what, why is my ego even talking to me? That, that it, it also, it's obviously not happy that now is enough, that it's even trying to think and trying to talk. So I think that's a great question. And uh, I really like uh, Dr. Hawkins' uh, explanation. And I think most people who are quite advanced spiritual seekers will note from their own experience of doing more and more spiritual work. Um, the more there is repressed feelings and fear and, and uh, the deeper, so we say, animal motives in one or addictions, then um, it's like the thinking is at 100 miles an hour because one ha- is so unhappy or to stand still would be such a great unhappiness that there always has to be something to do to make you feel better. I'll eat a donut, then I'll feel better. I'll get a girlfriend, then I'll feel better. I'll get another job, then I'll feel better. So that, you know, it's like that, that huge fear and these huge um, animal drives, shall we say, mean that there's deep unhappiness and the thinking, and there's a, a now at this point, there seem, it seems to be necessary to be addicted to thinking which is another aspect, you know, of, of huge fear, um, guilt, shame, repressed feelings. There, there's also in parallel, they go, one, one, one goes with the other. Huge repressed feelings, negative feelings, go hand in hand with very fast thinking and trying to work out a solution in the future that will fix my emptiness. So oh, I feel so awful if I could eat a donut let me go and buy a donut. Oh, I feel so awful. I need a, I'm lonely. I need a girlfriend. Let me see. Let me go and get on a dating website immediately. Oh my God, my financial situation. It's awful. I can't even support myself. Um, let me get, let me get a, let me look at the jobs, uh, job section. So it's always like that. And people have done no spiritual work or addicts or in deep, have deep repressed feelings and are always avoiding the, uh, avoiding themselves, their true self, not them, their ego self, uh, are always like the thinking, the addiction to thinking is very, very rapid. And the addiction to th- projecting that there is a solution in the future that can fix the emptiness within is, is quite insane. As you start to do spiritual work, meditate, get relief from the fear and the thinkingness, or start to get this inner light or peace, uh, the thinking starts to, um, starts to become more benign and it's like well you know actually i'm all right for food right now i'm actually not that lonely i don't need a girlfriend actually god will sort out my financial situation so it's almost like the thinking as the as that inner spiritual peace and you do more spiritual work as your level of consciousness increases um starts to become less uh virulent less negative you know, it's illuminated now with the with an inner light and love. So it tends to be less horrible to to yourself and others. Now, as you do more spiritual work, especially as you get into mystical work or really trying to connect to something that's not outside in the world, because if you think salvation is found in a, in a donut, in a thin body, uh, salvation is found in a partner or or in a financial situation. If you think that, then you need thinking you know, because the solution is in the future. You know, you ha- you will be addicted to your thinking to find a solution or to be in the dualistic thinking, which then has a dualistic relationship, a thinking relationship with the world. It seems like you have to be addicted to your thoughts because the thoughts will provide you the solution in the future that you have to go get. You have to take action if you want a donut. You have to take action if you want a girlfriend. You have to take action if you want money. So the now is not enough. You know, and, and also there's an addiction to thinking in the now, which is all, usually when you start to think, you're not now. You know, if you have an addiction to thought, you're, you're not now. You're actually, if there's any identification with thoughts, you're really, you're not now. So you have to let go of the thoughts right now to be now. <laughs> um, so don't, as soon as you latch onto a thought, you're in some, I mean, it's going to, it's going to drag you into a world of not now. So, but, you know, even to get to a place of no thought or no addiction to thought, you know, it's not that thoughts are bad. 
it's not that cups and tables are bad or trees are bad, but when there's identification from the uh, ego self with an object, even thoughts and feelings, then and the thinkingness, as soon as that's done, it's you're not in the you're not in the presence of now, you're in your thoughts. And so the thoughts, now this addiction to thinking is one of the last addictions to go. Uh, there's probably a lot of spiritual work before you're even willing to let go of the addiction to th th thinking as your master. So to get to the, to be now happy, you will, not only do you have to let go of your addiction to outside external things, but you have to let go to the addiction of thoughts finally. And then what happens is the now becomes enough because there's peace now, there's love now, there's beauty now, there's connection now, everything. And you don't need to be in the future because there's an infinite trust that the now is enough, that the infinite flow of that divine presence without an addiction to thinking or to getting something in the future, which is still an addiction to thinking. Because if you are addicted to your thinking self, which is the limited self, then you need to control the world and the future to get something in the future to be now. When I eat a donut, then I'll be happy now, but I can't be happy now because I need a donut. I'm hungry for a donut. I'm, um, I'm lonely for a girlfriend, whatever it is, or I'm fearful for more money. You, I can't be now. So I can't, so it's like when there is the, the, at a certain point for many spiritual seekers, there comes a drive not to find happiness in the world, or to find happiness in thinking, or to find happiness in relationship to other objects or people, but to find happiness in the now by being now. To be happy now is not me being happy because I've got a girl in front of me, or me being happy now because I have a donut in front of me, or me being happy now because I have a pile of 50 pound notes, because that, that would be, we, we could say is dualistic. It's a, it's a, and, and, and if I make anything special or my higher power in this room at the moment, then I'll have a special relationship or an ego relationship with that object or person. So still, I won't be really happy in the now. So to be happy in the now, to be happy in every now, or what I call the timeless now, where there's like a infinite flow of life, but without time, a timeless flow actually, where there's happiness now all the time, there's a tree, oh, I'm witnessing a tree, beautiful. I'm, happy. I'm still happy now. Oh, there's a person, I'm still happy now. Oh, I'm in a, in a building, I'm still happy now. There's no thinking and every moment is its own exquisite beauty and, and, and divinity revealed. So for me, it's like, why is it not easy? Like if I'm a donut addict and act, you know, eating donuts all day long, thinking of how I can get my next donut, then to get from that place to being happy in the now is, is, is a bit of a, you have to undo the ego to get to that place of the infinite now, what I call the infinite now. So um, when, with the thinking, you know, what, why do I, why am I addicted to think? Because a lot of my thoughts are what I call special thoughts or higher power thoughts. You know, I might have thoughts about how to get food or thoughts about how to get a girl or thoughts about how to get money. Now, if, for all of you, I would say, or look at your own experience. When thoughts are meaningless, they more or less don't exist. They more or less don't register and they more or less don't exist. Even if there was a flit like the grass is green, you kind of can't remember that and it doesn't really exist for you. There's just the witnessing of the beautiful grass. Now, if suddenly you're witnessing beautiful grass and flowers and there's a donut, then it's suddenly like you have a relationship. You exist and the donut exists. Why does that happen? Why is it not now with the grass and the flowers, but suddenly like there's thinking and uh, emptiness in relationship with the donut or the girl or whatever it is or the money? So to undo it, I have to undo my addiction, you know, my addictions to this, to this world, essentially, and to my thinking and to escaping repressed, you know, the thinking is escaping the, the self, the God self, the infinite self, the self that is always here beyond thinking and beyond the world. So um, anyway, I'll shut up now and uh, let's press stop.